guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to take the sleeper Forester for a drive, go get some fuel, and see how it runs. Maybe some tuning, and maybe some rips. Let's do it. Here she is in the driveway. Let's have a look under the bonnet. All right. So first of all, SH gas struts for the bonnet. Uh, our catch can system isn't really much. You can see these two here, they are just from the heads, got a Y from the block to the intake, and that goes to the PCV valve down there. The help tech flex fuel, it's built. Um, I've actually put the original pistons back in, but we've got, built, uh, we've got manly rods, rotated setup from Aeroflow, so just the adapter. From the normal 3 bolt to the 4 bolt T3 AEG coolant reservoir shaped off that but it's looking a bit but how you going so I keep kneeling on it so I'll start it up yeah GFB fuel pressure regulator uh, radium rails with 1300 injectors running on a health tech elite 550 Boost controller. Yeah, it's not really that much. Can gauge. So we need to go get some fuel. We'll do that later. When it's dark. Yeah, the car hasn't run for quite a while, like for a long time. I mean, it runs, but I haven't taken it out for a long drive. So there's a bit of crap in the exhaust. It's gonna burn off for a while. So I wanna do it more at night time. And we've got a petrol station not far away, so. Go for a little drive, go there tonight, fill it up. Not full full, but probably half a tank. I'd like to take it to work, maybe. We'll see how the auto is. Eventually this will get manual swapped. Got my eyes on some cars for a donor car. So. I might try something different, I don't know. I don't think anybody's done it, but it might be stupid, it might be good, depending on what I want to do with the car. But yeah, let's start her up. So I gotta get my laptop out and I take it for a drive as well. Alright, so I've shown you what the car looks like. So now we can go drive it at night time. So if you're here for the first time, you know what the car looks like. And we'll mount you up on the roof. Go for a drive, you can see the gauges. We used to have a lot more gauges and a lot more going on in this car. It used to be a compound turbo setup, which may come back after a manual swap. We'll see how we go. Alright guys, it's about seven o'clock. I've got my laptop. Let's jump in the Foz, go for a drive, and get some fuel. Actually, I need to take the jerry can as well, so I can get some fuel for the Skyline. Alright, just started the Foz. Fog it up, a bit cold. Let's hook up the laptop. Make sure we're good. Well, the laptop's being annoying. Good thing I've got the Haltech can gauge there. I can see what's going on. The only thing is over or under, it flashes and it tells you what it is. So, I think we're good. Oil pressure's at 85. Alright, so last time I went out and hit rev limit, it was 4,500. It's at 5,000 now. Um, 
we're going to be driving it silly. So let's go to 5.5. Five. <laughs> Alright. Let's go get some fuel for the Skyline. Put some fuel in this. Some fresh stuff. Just going to cruise it. Light's going to go off. Don't hit the missus car. Didn't even scrape the cooler. Logging. Running pretty rich. Mate, I don't know if you saw him waiting. The first time I take it out in a long time, and he's out walking. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to start. What's going on? Oh. a little bit of a drive. I'm logging again, guys. 
kind of front of me, car behind me. Look at that. Dumping fuel. So rich. Pretty much you can tell uh, where my foot is on the throttle and where we're at with air fuel ratio so you can see if I'm just cruising it's a bit rich. Laggy. I oh, know it's a GT35, but come on. Okay, GT35 and an auto <laughs> doesn't mix. Right, second gear now. Scraping. 
Alright guys, there we have it. Took the GT out. The XT is a lot better. Snappier, manual. Yes, the GT needs a tune, but the auto, I'm not liking it. We need to uh, manual swap it somehow. <laughs>